Hi. It's been a while, hasn't it? Hello, reptile friends, and welcome back to my channel. Um, it's it's been a minute, hasn't it? Oh my god, it feels. I mean, it feels good to be back, but it's been a year. I think the only video I've done was my Canada vlog, and wow, I missed you guys. Did you miss me? I missed you. So today, I just kind of want to tell you where I've been because a lot has happened. A lot has been happening in my life. The world has gone absolutely bonkers. Without further ado, let's get right to it. So let me tell you about what has been going on in my life. So I moved out in September of last year and I moved to a different country, which involved taking the ferry with all my reptiles, all the vibs, everything. Um, Sparks is in the background just chilling. Uh, he's not black because I've done something to annoy him. He's full of the joys of spring. So if he starts head banging, this is my life now. He's been going absolutely bonkers for the past like two weeks. Um, but he's fine, I promise you. He's just head banging at his own reflection. He's head banging at the wall. He wants to mate with anything that he sees. So if he goes bonkers, that's why. So I moved out, moved all the bibs on the ferry. It was bonkers and probably the most stressful thing I've ever done in my entire life um, which was fine and it worked I got a job that was just insane hours I was doing from like starting work at five in the morning um, and some days I would do different hours and finish at like half eleven midnight and I just I was so tired all the time and I just didn't have the energy to film and do anything creative it was enough to just be me <laughs> and live and that's fine you know we all need a break every now and then um, but living there didn't work out, which is fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. And genuinely, I, from the bottom of my heart, like, it, it was fine. Um, so I moved back and I decided because I'd bought this amazing viv wall, it was like eight by four, all the animals fit in it bar the lizards. Um, and it was easier for me to sell all that and buy new stuff when I got back here than it was to dismantle everything and take it back on the ferry. It was enough to just get it there. See, he's head banging. I told you he would. So I'm in the process now. A lot of my animals are in tubs. When I say a lot of my animals, um, the lizards and the gecko are not. They are all in, in bibs. The snakes are in tubs at the moment. But that is all changing because yesterday I ordered a complete new bib stack and a separate bib for Tiny. So when they arrive, um, all the animals are gonna have upgrades. I mean, they all had upgrades anyway. They had like full-size bibs, uh, but obviously they've been decreased to transport tubs. And now they go back up to what they were before, if that makes sense. So yeah, I thought I would show you some of the animals that I have got. Um, most of the snakes ate yesterday. I kind of didn't think it through when I intended to film today. I didn't think to not feed them last night. So I thought I would show you Louie. Tiny, Tiny's made such big progress, and uh, Spyro Sparks, and maybe a little bit of Roswell the Tokyo Gecko if I can persuade her to come and be sociable for once, which probably won't happen, but there we go. So let me show you Tiny. Now, I don't know if you remember, I will insert a picture. Tiny was Tiny, that's where she got her name. She was a rescue, and I genuinely didn't know she was if she was gonna live or not. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. And now she is still Tiny. Um, but she's less tiny than she was before and she's doing super well. She eats like an absolute champ. Um, she's probably grown a little bit slower than I thought she would, but then she had an incredibly rough start to life, so I'm not judging. She's eating, she's the right temps, she's thriving, so I'm not worried. She can grow as quick or as slow as she wants, as long as she's healthy. That is the main thing. And she bit me yesterday, so I don't know if you're going to apologise for that. Or if you're gonna, please don't bite my face. Oh, she's actually being friendly today. Hmm. Hmm. I don't believe you. But no, she is fine. Um, she's really long. How long are you? She is pretty, pretty long. Maybe like a foot and a bit. Maybe nearly a foot and a half. Somewhere. Yeah, I'd say maybe a foot and a half, which is amazing. I'm so proud of her considering I thought she was gonna die. <laughs> you headbang, Milda, you headbang. Um, so yeah, that's tiny. And I adore her with all my heart, even though she is still sassy. 
Um, she is quite bib defensive, but once you pick her up, she is fine. But she's so small, as I say, she bit me yesterday and you couldn't even see. There was just not, there was nothing there. But as you can see, once you get her out, she is happy as Larry. Don't know who Larry is, but she's as happy as him. See, there we go, lovely, healthy little tongue waggles. 10 out of 10, love my tiny girl. So now Tiny's away, I will show you my big boy, my Louis, my big banana, ball python, my first ever snake. Let me show you how much he's grown because he is massive. Okay, one sec. So here we go, here he is, my Louis, and he is big. Like, he's as big as my head now. And I'll wait for him just to um, come out of his hiding pose. There he is, there's his little face. He is still the most chill snake ever. He really rivals Starburst, my Brazilian rainbow boa for the chillest snake that I own. He always wants to explore. Now, bearing in mind that all my ball pythons, of which I have four, they're all kept at the same temperature, all in the same kind of setups. They've always had the same either viv or tub setups as they are in at the moment. But Louis always wants to explore. Um, and that's the same when you have him out. He won't be the kind of ball python that will just hang around on your neck or something like He will try and find a little spot and he will attempt to crawl down the back of the sofa or something if you sat with him on the couch. He always wants to be moving and that's fine. And he's just in really healthy shape. I don't know what more to tell you. Um, he eats like a champ. I actually do have to be quite careful not to overfeed him because he will never not take a meal. Um, so I only feed him every two weeks, which is working out for us, isn't it, Lou? Yeah. See, he just wants to explore. Um, but he's my lovely yellow boy, and I love him. I don't know what more to say. So, as I said, I've ordered all these vibes. I will be sharing the process of building them and setting them all up, and especially Louis, because he is actually going in the big four-foot viv behind me. And the reason I'm putting him in this big display one <laughs> as opposed to one up in my room is because I know he will take full advantage of it. As I say, when he was in his old viv back in the flat, he would use all the space you can give him. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to setting that up. Um, this viv was given to me by a close friend when her snake moved into a different one. So I think Louis, Louis, that's gonna be your new home. I don't think he's fussed yet. He will be when he sees it all nicely decorated. So let's get you back in your tub. And I think I'll get Sparks out to burn off some energy. So this is Sparks, and Sparks just wants to mate. He is not a happy bunny at the moment. He's just finished shedding on his face. Spyro's having a party up there, I think, because she won't be quiet. Um, but Sparks is doing incredibly well despite how grumpy he looks. He is actually fine. As I say, he's just finished shedding his face. Um, he's got a few little bits here and there, but he is, believe it or not, a lot calmer today. Now most of the shed is off than he was a couple of days ago uh, when it was crusty but not ready to come off. So he was very itchy, didn't like it. Can you see your reflection in the camera? Oh, what a handsome dragon you are. And Sparks is six and a half now, I believe. Let me just... So Sparks is just between six and a half and seven. Um, he's getting on a bit. And we've been best friends ever since he was six months old. And I have truly treasured every second I've had with this special little boy. And he's bored of me now. So do you want to go back? Anyway, he got bored of me, so I'm just... Oh, headbanging again. It's like having a toddler that headbangs the amount of energy he has. And this is my angel Spyro, who doesn't really want to be held today. She wants to run. Um, so I'm just going to show you. And then put you back. Yeah. Oh, Sparks are seeing it. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's get her back. So that was Spyro. I don't want to hold her for too long because she was making Sparks go incredibly um, active. <laughs> uh, she's fine. She's just over seven years old now. I love her. She's just my angel she's my best friend she has had loads of health problems throughout her life which started from basically the day we brought her home um she'd had a bug bite i think from where black crickets had chewed on her when she was in the pet store so not long after bringing her home um 
she had the end of her tail amputated and that's had to stuck shed issues constantly on the amputation side um but she's fine i mean apart from all these little issues like she lost a claw in um the transport somehow in the box i don't know but she's doing really really well i love that dragon i mean i love all my animals but spyro i love to death i would sacrifice myself for that dragon any day of the week she had a little bit of mbd when we got her and luckily that's never got worse so she looks a bit lumpy she's always looked like that and i love her just as much as i would or just as much as they do sparks who's happy healthy and horny apparently so i'm gonna leave roswell for another video i was debating getting her out but i'm gonna upgrade her when all the bibs come and she's going to a 45 45 60 centimeter bib and i think when i catch her to move her that would be the best time to show you guys because she is still not a handle handling lizard at the moment she is scared of the hand because not long after i got her i had to treat her for worms and i had to catch her and give her medication and she's just not trusted the big human hand since so now you know what's going on we're all caught up to date so um just a quick update i've come back i lived away came back living with my mum again all things good looking for a job spending quarantine doing what i love spending time with my animals and um i've put a deposit down on a new snake i'm very happy should i tell you what it is or should i keep it as a surprise ah okay okay i've put a deposit down on a rhino rat snake i feel like that needed a drum roll preceding it okay let's try that again drum roll please a rhino rat snake literally my dream snake i have my dream gecko my tokyo gecko and now i'm gonna get my dream snake a rhino rat snake so i put the deposit down and once all this craziness with the world has calmed down i can go and pick him or her up um they're too young to be probed at the moment so yeah ah, so exciting so there's lots of happy exciting things coming up on my channel i'm gonna build all these vivs and take you along with me along the viv building and decorating journey i'm going to show you how i set up a ball python kind of naturalistic viv set up i'm going to show you how i am going to set up roswell's um semi bioactive tank it's going to be really really good and loads of positive things moving forward so thank you for being patient with me i'm sorry if you thought i was gone and never coming back but here i am you can't get rid of me that easily <laughs>